Welcome to today's webinar, Fluid Aspiration Systems, Safety and Convenience Considerations, presented by Brantec Scientific. In today's discussion of fluid aspiration systems, we'll review the basic components required for fluid aspiration setup in the lab, the environmental and safety considerations of a fluid aspiration setup in the lab, and provide an overview of the features that are available with fluid aspiration systems. So, to begin the discussion, let's think about what fluid aspiration is. When we talk about fluid aspiration, what we are really talking about is using vacuum to remove liquid from one vessel or source and safely collect that liquid into some type of container. One of the most common applications for fluid aspiration is removing spent cell culture media, but it can also be used for the removal of other supernatants, as well as a variety of other applications. This seems like a really simple task, right? So what is required to perform fluid aspiration in the lab? The traditional method of fluid aspiration, as first described in Biosafety and Microbiological and Biomedical Laboratories back in 1984, is what is commonly referred to as the two-flask setup and is considered the standard for fluid aspiration in the lab. This setup consists of four basic components. One, a suction flask, labeled A in this diagram, two, an overflow flask, labeled B, three, a HEPA filter, labeled C, and four, a vacuum source, labeled D. The purpose of the suction flask, A, is to provide primary containment of the aspirated liquid, while the overflow flask, as the name implies, is for backup protection or secondary containment in case the suction flask overfills. The HEPA filter is recommended in line between the flasks and the vacuum source to protect the vacuum source from biohazards, mainly aerosols, that can be produced during the aspiration process. And of course, the vacuum source, which can be either a central vacuum system or a standalone pump, provides the vacuum that allows the process to happen. So how well does this two-flask setup address safety and environmental concerns in the lab? It depends a lot on how well it is actually implemented. And implementation of the two-flask setup can vary greatly from lab to lab. One of the critical safety considerations in fluid aspiration is containment of the aspirated liquid. And as in, is demonstrated in these photos, in many lab setups, the overflow vessel is missing. With no overflow vessel, if the suction flask is overfilled, the excess liquid may contaminate the vacuum source or it can spill out into the lab environment. Additionally, if the flasks are not contained, as is also demonstrated in these photos, there is the risk of the flasks tipping over or being knocked and breaking, again, spilling contents out into the lab environment. Another safety consideration when performing fluid aspiration in the lab is the aerosols that are generated during the aspiration process. As with the actual liquid itself, both the vacuum source and the lab environment should be protected from these aerosols by a HEPA filter in place between the overflow flask and the vacuum source. However, oftentimes the filter is simply non-existent. Or when a filter is used, it's not the correct type of filter to afford adequate protection, providing a false sense of protection. Now, let's consider the vacuum source that's used for fluid aspiration. The vacuum source can be either a central vacuum system or a standalone pump. When a central vacuum system is the vacuum source, consider that this is a single vacuum source that serves many users. What does this mean? For the fluid aspiration setup, it means that there's little control over the amount of vacuum or airflow available, 
except what control is provided from the valve. For the central vacuum system, the implications are greater. As an application, fluid aspiration introduces a large leak into the central vacuum system. Airflow is unrestricted when liquid is not actually filling the tubing of the setup, and this results in instabilities in the vacuum flow that can impact other applications using the system and can even result in outflow to other applications on the central vacuum system. Additionally, if not protected properly, as with a HEPA filter, the entire central vacuum system can become contaminated. And if aspirating liquids that produce corrosive vapors, such as chlorine bleach, it's possible that those vapors can cause corrosion in the tubing or the actual pump of the central vacuum system. When using a standalone pump as the vacuum source, the considerations are slightly different. Again, with fluid aspiration, airflow is unrestricted when liquid is not actually filling the tubing of the setup. With a standalone pump, this means that during those periods, the pump is running wide open, which is when a pump is at its loudest, so it can be noisy. Running wide open also has the potential to be damaging to some pumps. Sometimes, a foot switch may be employed to reduce the amount of time the pump actually runs. However, this workaround can be cumbersome, and it's not an ideal solution. Plus, frequently cycling a pump motor may not be good for it either. By the way, I do need to note here that this cartoon is not an endorsement of going barefoot in a lab or working without gloves. We do highly recommend both closed-toed shoes and gloves for safe fluid aspiration in the lab. Additionally, if there are multiple users in the lab who need access to the aspiration setup at the same time, either multiple pumps or an oversized pump will be required to accommodate the need. This will increase the noise level in the lab, plus also negates even the possibility of the less than ideal foot switch solution. So, if a fluid aspiration setup for a lab needs to safely contain the aspirated liquid so it does not contaminate the lab environment or the vacuum source, protect the lab environment and the vacuum source from aerosols or other contaminants generated during the aspiration process, and ideally work efficiently and effectively without adversely affecting the lab environment, vacuum source, or other applications, how effective or adequate is the traditional two-flask method? Even if properly implemented, there are still drawbacks to the setup. So what is the alternative to the traditional two-flask setup? Well, a convenient alternative to the traditional two-flask setup is a purpose-built fluid aspiration system that is specifically designed to securely contain the aspirated liquid, protect both the lab environment and the vacuum source from aerosols generated during aspiration, protect the central vacuum system and other lab applications from potential adverse impact if a central vacuum system is the vacuum source, and as a bonus, they are easy to use. Purpose-built fluid aspiration systems are designed to securely contain the aspirated liquid. They have a collection bottle for the aspirated fluid, preferably one that's chemical resistant, autoclavable for disinfection. The bottle is securely held in a tip resistant stand. And if it's securely held in a robust stand, the collection bottle won't run the risk of getting knocked over and spilling its contents. And Optional quick couplings will be available that close off the contents of the bottle when it's removed from the stand for a disinfection of its contents. Fluid aspiration systems are also designed to protect the vacuum source they're used with. A fluid aspiration system like the vacuum brand BVC Basic is designed to be used with either a central vacuum system or a standalone pump and has features to protect either type of vacuum source. It has an integrated check valve with a mechanical vacuum regulator. 
When used with the central vacuum system, the check valve pre prevents the unrestricted airflow and instabilities that can affect other applications. When used with a standalone pump, the valve and regulator help to control flow, reducing noise and stress on the pump, and ensuring an optimal operating vacuum level. The system also comes with a 0.2 micron hydrophobic filter for maximum protection of both the vacuum source, be it a central vacuum system or a standalone pump, and the lab environment. In addition to systems like the BVC Basic that require an external vacuum source, fluid aspiration systems are also available with an integrated pump. These systems have the same features as the Basic model. They have an autoclavable collection bottle that's securely held in a tip-resistant stand, a 0.2 micron hydrophobic filter to protect the pump and the lab environment, and optional quick couplings for easy disinfection of the bottle contents. Having an integrated pump also offers flexibility and convenience. Because the system no longer requires an external vacuum source, it can be placed anywhere it's needed, and each system offers additional features for added safety and convenience. The vacuum level is electronically adjustable, which can be critical when working with sensitive cell types, and some models also offer liquid level sensors to prevent overflow of the collection bottle. While the hydrophobic filter will stop aerosols and liquid from passing through, everything has a limit. And of course, all of the BVC fluid aspiration systems are easy to use. They have smooth surfaces for easy cleaning, offer quick couplings for ease of disinfection, and all have an autoclavable hand controller with two modes for either continuous aspiration or flow control for on-demand aspiration. The VHC Pro hand controller is fully autoclavable, lightweight, and ergonomic. As noted, it has two modes. Put the controller in autoclave mode for continuous aspiration or aspirate mode for controlled aspiration. The silicone tubing runs through the body of the hand controller for leak-free operation and easy cleaning and maintenance. With the provided adapters, the hand controller can be used with pasture pipettes, aspiration or graduated pipettes, and standard pipette tips. Plus, an optional eight-channel tip adapter is available for microplate work. Additionally, a wall holder and tubing clips are provided for safe storage of the hand controller and tubing. A quick comparison of the BVC fluid aspiration systems, the BVC Basic, the BVC Control, and the BVC Professional shows the three levels of features offered on each model. The BVC Basic requires an external vacuum source, yet offers all of the safety features required in a fluid aspiration system. An autoclavable and chemical resistant collection bottle that's securely held in a tip resistant stand with an integrated check valve to protect the vacuum source and a mechanical regulator to allow vacuum adjustment from 500 to 100 millibar. The BVC Control and Professionals are standalone models with an integrated vacuum brand ME1C chemistry rated pump. Both offer electronic control of vacuum level from 850 to 150 millibar in 50 millibar increments. The BVC Professional also offers a no contact liquid level sensor. All systems are also supplied with the VHC Pro hand controller. An autoclavable 0.2 micron hydrophobic filter have the option of quick couplings and can easily support two users with the addition of a second hand controller. So to review, features that are important for a safe fluid aspiration system in the laboratory are the waste needs to be safely and securely contained. This means an autoclavable and chemical resistant collection bottle that is securely seated in a tip resistant stand or base. The vacuum source and lab environment should be protected from aerosols and the contaminated waste. This requires that at least a hydrophobic HEPA filter be in place. A liquid level sensor provides an additional safeguard. The user should be protected from the aspirated fluid as well, 
by a well-designed hand controller and a collection bottle that is easy to decontaminate. And of course, it should be easy to use. The BBC family of fluid aspiration systems offer all of these important safety features, plus the control and professional models have an integrated ME1C vacuum pump, which provides VacuBrand's signature whisper quiet performance and chemical resistance. It is extremely robust with a service interval of 15,000 hours. Vacuum level on the control and professional models is electronically controlled, which means that not only are sensitive cells protected, but the pump only runs when needed. The professional model has a no contact liquid level sensor, no float in the collection bottle to get contaminated or sensors in the bottle cap to get dirty or corroded. And temporary override of the sensor is possible to finish up that last few milliliters of liquid that needs to be aspirated to complete a procedure. And lastly, because the control and professional models have a VacuBrand ME1C pump, they can easily support two users without loss of suction capacity to either user. Thank you for your time and attention. If you would like more information, please visit our website or email us at support at brandtech.com.